Hello guys, how's it going? I hope things are going fantastic on this awesome Valentine's Day. So, as you can see on the homepage, there's been a new update. The Tazar Quest, a new minigame, and a graphical rework of the entire Tazar city. Um, as you can see in the video, everything's been completely changed, redesigned, you name it. The whole area looks just sweet, I'm gonna be honest. So, as you can see in the video, I'm just running around giving you guys a your own personal tour. I know it's awesome. Free of charge. I know it's not the best thing in the world. Plus, I won't be able to get into the kiln because I do not process a fire cape. Because last time I faced Jad, he decided to be a bitch and kill me. But that's besides the point. So anyhow, for this update, there's been a new quest named the Elderkin. And you can speak to the Tsar May Ya by the birthing pools in Tazar City. The requirements are 75 magic, 60 agility, 41 mining, and you must be able to defeat multiple enemies up to combat level 365. 365, ladies and gentlemen. And also, you need a rune or a dragon pickaxe. Now, the rewards for this quest include, uh, let's see, great slabs of XP, a ring that increases damage against the inhabitants of the Desire City, and a new title. So honestly, in my opinion, that's actually a pretty sweet quest. Once I get 60 agility, I actually might do this, because if you don't know the inhabitants, I, I don't know their names, they're weird to pronounce, but they drop all that toku shit, and actually, you know, now that I think of it, I think all that stuff's down in price now. Yeah, actually... You know, like two years ago, like the the Obby Cape, Obsidian Cape, used to be worth like 250k each. Like I used to like just camp there and just like, you know, get all the items because you, you know, you used to be able to get like maybe three items a day or something like that, and that's how I used to make money. But I think now that's, and maybe that's why no one was there. As you can see, there's like no one there fighting him. But I mean, you can train range there. That's that's still a good idea. Anyhow, back to this update. They've also, whoops, they've, what does it say here? They've added a new mini game called the Fight Kiln. And this is basically a new, I don't know what you want to call it, new version of the Jad mini game. So basically, um, from the videos I've seen today, you need to just run around in like hell and fight for your life. I heard it's supposed to be incredibly tough and, and you have to sacrifice a fire cape for your first time. So if you're willing to give up a fire cape, now, note, you only have to do that once. So, I mean, I guess it's, it'll be worth it. I, the new cape gives you plus 8 strength bonus, which the max cape's better. In my opinion, skill capes are still one of the best capes. Even your fire cape is still a, a worthy um, opponent to this cape. And actually... The skill capes, fire cape, all those other capes look a lot better than this new cape. The cape, as you can see, it just it's really nothing special to it. I thought I have maybe like an animation like the fire cape, but all it does is like it like wiggles around like your dick or something like when you walk around. It's really weird. But I mean that's hey, that's it's their game. It's whatever they want to do, I don't care. So anyhow, you know, if you're up to the challenge, if you're willing to you know, give up Fire Cape and take on the new boss, and you know, go try it out. It looks fun. And let's see the requirements. Make sure you complete the Elderkin. And let's see, like I said, fire, sacrifice a Fire Cape. What else? And that brings me to one of the last parts of this update. Like I said, a complete graphical update of the Tazar race and city rework. So. There's really nothing more to say. There's all the NPCs, the monsters, they look completely different. I I love, well, you know, I'm kind of half and half because, you know, some things I wish they would change and other things I, w I would wish they leave alone. Like the Barrows update, I actually honestly do like that update. I know some people didn't like the armor. And they actually, they recently did change some of the armor, if you didn't notice, to look a little better. But I felt that's an update that, you know, should have been done. Um, a long time ago, but this update, you know, I think the monsters look a little weird. I mean, I know it's they're supposed to be a whole different race, but I kind of like the old NPCs. I mean, it's it's really, you know, you either hate it or love it, you know. 
but overall, I love that Jagex is, you know, making, you know, updates constantly every month. Because, you know, after a while, it, the game would get boring if, you know, you play the same thing over and over again. And other news, let's see, there's an early bird bonus, early bird special, if you complete the quest within the first two weeks of the release, which, actually, that might be a, you know, I might take that up, because spring break's right around the corner, and... Hopefully I'll have 99 defense. If you didn't know, I'm going for 99 defense. I'm about 800k until 95, so I got a good bit to go, but not too far. Let's see. Uh, for the early bird special, you receive you receive twice the quest XP you normally would, and you receive an extra 50k magic and 30k agility XP, and an extra 100,000 XP in your choice of combat skill. So wow, that's actually that's pretty decent if you ask me. And also, if you reach wave 30 in the in the fight kiln within the same two weeks, you receive an additional 70k XP lamp for your choice of skill. Now, hopefully, you know that 70k can be used on like a skill that's lower than 30. Well, no, 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 no. Let me rephrase that. Hopefully, that um that 70k can be used on skills that are, you know have no specific level because you know usually when they do this kind of stuff they say no you can't use that on a skill that's you know lower than 50 or lower than 60 or lower than 30 or whatever because you know that 70k would really help out my room crafting anyways now to one of the major things I want to talk about and this is really gonna screw over Suami if you don't know who Suami is he's the number one player in RuneScape and the reason he's number one is because of Ancient Effigies. Now, this is really going to piss him off because the drop rate of Ancient, Effig yeah, Ancient Effigies is now reduced. And you can only hold up to five in your bank or inventory. Now, this kid, he basically, he plays like 10 hours a day. He has like almost, I think, four bill XP. But the reason why he has so much XP is because of Effigies. And he has like... I don't know, thousands of effigies in his bank. And now he's going to have to, well, first of all, he has to use them all because he can't get any more until he does. Plus, I mean, for people like me who don't have like certain skills over level 90, I mean, we're going to have to go to, I guess, dun uh, the Dungeoneering, uh, what's it called? Dun Dungeonheim? Something like that. You have to go there to like, have people assist, and then you get half XP, and then everyone's going to be pissed off, and, you know, I just, I really don't know why they did this. I went to the forums, and basically, they, Jagex just said a big fuck you to everyone, and said, you know, we didn't intend for this to happen, they didn't, like, expect that everyone's going to hoard them like they did, but, you know, I mean, I haven't got a effigy before, but, you know, I was really looking forward to using them in the future, but, you know things happen so anyhow that's basically all for this update video so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did you know please like favorite all that good stuff and until next time i'll talk to you guys later